Hey guys, it's Lean Thor. I told myself I would not start recording a look like this when doing a video because I really want to like do a makeup and do my hair and be nice and pretty for you all but I'm way tired I have been just so tired I'm not gonna complain this is me <laughs> But don't worry, I'm not gonna look like this the entire video. I am kind of just a bit too lazy because today I am going to dye this wig and I'm also going to show you how I put the wig on. So uh, this video is sponsored by Uni Wigs and uh, I have looked at this wig and it is uh, the best wig ever. I cannot begin to explain how pretty this wig is. This is how it comes straight out of the net and the box. Look at this color. Like what? I've done nothing to it and this is the color the wig is. It is absolutely amazing. I am going for an icy blue wig. So this is very, very, very long. I think it might be, might even be 26 inches. It is complete 360 lace all around. Part it however you want to, it is going to be lace. Um, so you'll find everything you need to know in the description box below, uh, the links to everything if you want to get the same wig as I have. Oh, oh, I feel like it's a shame that I am uh, going to dye it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not it is 360 lace, but there is no lace in the back. That's really weird, but okay, there's no lace here. Only front lace, but it's lace all around here. So you can part it however you want. Let's just start dying. Well, okay guys, are you ready? <laughs> Why am I like, why am I out of breath? It's kind of creepy, honestly. <laughs> I'm like that fat guy sitting in the basement. Only you don't understand that I am because I uh, covered up with makeup, but actually I just sit around, smell like, Oh my god, why am I talking about this? Here is the finished wig. I'm gorgeous. I take showers every day. Why do I keep saying I don't? <laughs> Here is the finished wig. So I could just not bear to do it blue on the top because I just, I felt like I loved the color so much that I just could not dye it. But I honestly did the most pure dip dye ever. Like I legit dipped the hair. Do you guys remember when we were all young and dip dye was like coming up and I thought people dipped their hair in dye. So this is 100% pure dip dye. I just dipped it in the dye. <laughs> Okay, I had to redo this and this time I'm wearing no makeup because that f***ed up everything last time I tried to show you. I failed so astronomically bad, so I'm ashamed. I don't want to show you that. But I'm gonna start off by using my got to be glued in the gel form. I swear to god if I forgot to introduce everything I'm gonna use today, I'm gonna die. <laughs> So prepping for the wig is very important. I don't use wig stockings. So I get a headache from wearing stockings, so I don't wear it. So what I do is just prep it so that it's as flat as possible. So what I found to do that is that I part my hair somewhat where the parting would be on the wig, just to make sure that the parting is as flat as possible on the wig as well. So what I do after that is that I take this and then just make my hair really, really flat especially here in the front. I'm really just gluing it down so that my hair is like my scalp. I used to like screw it up and do braids underneath, but unless you can do like those really tight, really small braids, you shouldn't do that because it's not gonna look good. Trust me, it looks like you're wearing a hat and not a wig. <laughs> I'm not done with this yet, but I'm gonna tie my hair back in a really tight knot and I'm gonna flatten the hair with the knot. Can you see how like tight this is? Almost no bounce, so no volume, please. Then I used the most golden product, if I haven't already said that. This is the Got To Be Glued bl bl Blasting Free Spray, oh my god. This is our magic. So let's do some on the hair as well and pull it back even more. So we got a really great biz to work on. I put my hair back in this little ponytail and I'm gonna tell you later why I did that little bun thing. But as you can see, we are working with a really flat hair and we're not gonna have to deal with such a bad headache because we are not wearing the stocking. Okay, so here we have her. It's starting to get creepy that I'm calling my wigs her. <laughs> I've started to notice that this is not the best wig to get to look like totally natural because it still have knots. If you don't know what a knot is, it's where the hair is tied in on the wig. So the knots are kind of visible, which which is not very good to make it look super natural. So super natural. <laughs> 
<laughs> ah. Now that I don't have any makeup, I can be really messy. Just before I put it on, I want to show you something. I've never had a wig who doesn't have these clips. And I used to think they were totally useless, but I've learned that once you have it on your head, instead of just hooking it up to one of these hoops, you can put them together and that'll make the wig even tighter and look even more natural. Ah, like this. It's gonna make a little bit of a di difference, but it does give you a headache. Uh, I'm gonna be avoiding headaches at all costs in this video. So this wig is like, if the knots were a bit better, I could have worn this wig just like this, cause it's like the perfect size for me. So just because this hair is so light, I'm gonna be able to see this through the wig. So I have to attach them. I usually don't, but kind of necessary cause the wig is gonna stick really good with the glue. So you don't really need to put this on if you do the glue technique. I think this is more for people who don't glue the wig on. Okay, so now we kind of figured out where the wig is gonna sit. I'll just pull it up a bit and I'll start spraying. I always start with the forehead cause that's like the most important part. So I just spray. Now that I don't have any makeup, I can go crazy. And then if it pours down, I'll just like wipe it. It's just easier if your glue is just where you want the, the hairline to stop. Cause it is kind of messy to remove the glue from the forehead afterwards because it sticks so well. So I'm keeping like a finger between my hairline and my forehead. I have a such small forehead, so I kind of have to uh, work with that. If you have a big forehead, you're gonna work awesome with wigs. Uh, I wish I had a bigger forehead. Okay, so I kind of just pull it down and lay it on the glue. And then I kind of just pull it down. And I bring forth my hair dryer and on a cold setting, I'm gonna spray this! Okay, so now it sits. People who say you can snatch wigs, I don't understand. You could not snatch my wig. If you would snatch my wig, my face would come along with it because it's gonna sit like stone once I'm done. Okay, so we got the forehead down, which is like the most important part. Ew. We're just gonna do the exact same thing and just spray here. You can also be a responsible human being and bring some tissue or something and not use your hands and then get all your clothes dirty because I'm wiping everything off on my pants. Ugh. That's not how we do it here. Okay, and now we just put the lace down. And the same thing as last time. So <laughs> when I say it's glued down, it's like it's glued down. You're gonna have some baby hairs that are gonna stick to the glue so just use a comb like this and just push it down and it'll untangle all the small hairs that got stuck uh, in the glue so if you see that it's loose at some parts put some more spray on it i forgot to give you guys a really important tip that is if you put the wig and the lace on your own hair and don't make sure that you have a little space to put it on like skin it's gonna look really weird and it's gonna fall off. So as you can see, I've kind of attached it on some hair here and that's why it's gonna be falling off. So I have to be extra careful to make this work. So the wig is really, really on. You cannot pull it off even if you freaking tried. The thing we're gonna do after this is something I usually don't do because I'm too lazy, but I feel like it's kind of needed on this wig because it's looking really weird with the knots. To make sure that nothing is like flying up or that the lace is not showing too much. We're gonna do this thing where we use this headband scarf and, and we're gonna spread the entire line and then just lock it on. So this is kind of a technique on its own, but you wanna fold this so that it's completely like even, like this. After that, you wanna pull it like this, pull it around like that. I seriously don't remember how I used to do this. <laughs> Just pull it like this, take it down, and we'll be ready to put it up in a second. Okay, so this pressure just does something amazing with the wig and it makes it look way more natural. So usually people do their makeup when they do this. I don't understand how, cause I like, I cannot do anything with my face like this. So I'm just gonna wait and the wig is gonna be basically on. Let's see how this is gonna look. Ooh. So it's definitely glued down. So we're gonna have to make the hair come off of it. So just as before, just pull it down. Sometimes the glue makes it look really good on the sides, like here, so I don't wanna really take it away. So I'm just gonna do a little bit to not make it look nasty. I can do anything. It's not gonna come off anywhere. Ah, 
So the next part is just to remove the excess glue. I'm just gonna use a hot cloth. You can use, um, I know you can use other stuff. I can't remember now what it was. <laughs> I'm just gonna use warm water with a cloth. Just have to be careful that we don't pull on the lids. It's kind of hard to get off because it's really, really sticky. So I'm gonna have to do my makeup before we do the next part. I feel like that's the right time to do this. But one of the last steps to put on the wig is just to attach this little thing. So it's gonna keep the wig all the way down. Can you see what difference it makes? Like if you just let it sit, and then if you actually pull it down, it just becomes way more flat and to your head. So the makeup is on, of course, obviously. So I've been thinking about how I'm gonna do this and uh, maybe just to like, this is the look I like on this hair. The only thing we kind of have left is to do the baby hairs and then do a hairstyle. So we're gonna use a little toothbrush and we're not gonna make that like obvious swirl that people do we're just gonna make like a natural baby hair i don't want to cut any of the hair yet because i'm not i'm not sure yet how this hair works on me so last time i tried it with some wax but i'm actually gonna try some hairspray this time because it did not look good okay i might just cut a little bit god i'm so scared because i'm really not good at the baby hair stuff but i feel like i need it for this wig Okay, we kind of got something working here and then we're just gonna remove the excess hairspray. I did that really weird, so don't follow my steps on that one. I'm actually not growing my ears together. I'm just so lazy that I always take them out when I sleep, so I never put them back in. That's why. Should I do this? I feel like this hairstyle, I look like an elf in, in a bad way. But this is like the final result. I promise it looks even better when I do it with a wig that has really invisible knots. But I think I did quite a good job. I made my forehead look a lot longer than it is. It's so weird. It's like I have Botox. I can't move my head. It's so much hair. It looks ridiculous. I'm Betty. I'm Boop. Hello. What? <laughs> That's my imaginary show. I'm Betty. I'm Boop. I guess I have a mental disorder. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, so this was it. This was how I was supposed to style it from the beginning. This is my thing. I like this. I like how this looks. Maybe it's the false lashes. I don't know. I don't know. It worked. And if you have some tips for me, I'd gladly take them. I need every tip I can get, seriously. I'll probably look back at this video and laugh at myself in like a year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this. This is how long it is all the way down to my hips <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for watching i really hope i did a good job because i kind of owe it to you guys because i've done so many wig videos but never told you how i put this on hopefully i'll make an even better updated version in the future but uh, for now i love you bye <laughs>